I have faith in the judiciary, says Governor Ademola Adeleke. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The Ocean State Governor Ademola Adeleke has reinstated faith in the national judiciary as the Chamber of Justice and Remedy. In a statement issued by his spokesperson, Olawale Rashid stated that Ademola, while receiving unit to unit ambassadors, UUA, from Oshun West Senatorial District, noted the critical role of the judiciary in entrenching and strengthening Nigeria's democracy, listing the many judicial interventions that has helped to stabilize the nation. The will of justice is the center of democracy. The judiciary's purview is the administration of justice. Therefore, the judiciary must enjoy the unwavering trust of every Democrat. I have faith and confidence in the legal system to put things right and straighten our democracy. A judicial intervention benefited me. I will never forget how the legal system exonerated me of forgery charges without anyone holding the judiciary in high regard as the ultimate arbitrator. Democracy cannot be robust. Therefore, we are fighting an appeal because we believe justice will be served. I implore us all to maintain our composure and conduct our everyday business in peace according to what is expected. I'm aware of how difficult and painful the judgment is for the residents of Oshun State, but the only way we can express our disapproval is through the legal system. Because of this, an appeal procedure exists. We are appealing because we have every reason to. So keep up the campaign, unit by unit, to fulfill the people's wishes and objectives. We are managing Oshun State. The governor stated, by God and man, our mandate will be revalidated through the same judicial process. So let's just take about two or three comments. Somebody said, by the grace of God, you would be allowed to finish your term. Another person said, if you really have faith, stop sponsoring protests. Wait for appeal courts to make decisions. Another person said, how is he sponsoring protests? People are out to claim their mandate and somebody is here saying he's sponsoring the protests. Let the people speak and protest if they want to. Okay, so those are just a few comments I'm going to take about this. Um, as we all know, it's been a very bumpy ride for Ademola Adeleke, the current executive governor of Oshun State, who was declared the winner about three months ago, um, starting the second term aspiration of Governor Oyetola, who is a cousin to the APC presidential flag bearer, Ashwa Jibola Metsinumbu. People have taken this in different lights, thinking that well, maybe something is wrong somewhere. The electoral laws were meant to favor, and the downside is what is now happening, and people are still complaining. So many decisions, so many theories have been propagated. But the truth of the matter is, this is a democracy, and the rule of law should prevail. So we will wait till, you know, it decides to appeal, and whatever the appeal court says, then we'll know what to do. But right now, Oshun State is here and there, and um, just as the governor Yetola has his own people, so also does Ademola Adelike has his own people. And he did something very historic a few hours ago when it was announced that he's going to pay 30 months of unpaid salaries and gratuities to pensioners in the state. 30 months. That means the salaries and gratuities that were being owed under the administration of governor Yetola and his predecessor, that's um, Governor Rauf Aregbe Shola. This brings to fore the fact that what people don't know that the debt owed is so, so much that um, people will be owed, civil servants will be owed 30 months salary. So for Adeleke, who just came in in less than three months, for him to be able to clear such debts, that means the money has always been available. So how come Governor Yetola did not deem it fit to pay people their salaries and even Governor Raouf Arebe Shola? I don't want to know whatever political structure people are talking about. Governance is a continuum. Civil servants have worked for their money. They deserve to be paid. They might not be earning the highest salary in the land, but working for the government of one state or local government or federal level, you know, everybody deserves his wages. 
or salaries in this case. So why would our leaders be so inhumane to hold their staff 30 month salaries and gratuities and the money is right there in the coffers. It is just appalling and it's very scary, you know, because God will not jump up from heaven to come and help us pay ourselves. We know the right things to do. But I don't know why we always like to punish ourselves. Like we just enjoy suffering. Like we just enjoy putting ourselves in pain. Nothing comes easy. It's like suffering is like honestly, we can do better. Nigerians. We hope that we are going to have and men we just with heart of to just flesh, do away with this not men with mentality of, of slavery in our land, in our political offices, because it's very clear that we intentionally just decide to make life hard for ourselves. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For our new subscribers, thank you for joining. And to our existing subscribers, thank you for always stopping by. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. See you in the next video. God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.